welcome back. Um, yeah, we have recently traded a bunch of stuff and got rid of just some of that surplus of water that we had. And uh, yeah, got an amethyst gemstone, another one. So that's good. That means we don't need to lug around Like this ridiculous amount of stuff that we had to lug around, so that's that's a good thing. That's generally a good thing. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move around some more, explore some more, find some stuff, level up, hopefully. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Leveling up does take a while. I right know, it's more than 10,000 XP. But, well, it accumulates over time. It works. That works. Okay, there's nothing down here. So yeah, I would still like to find better weapons than we had. Desert Canyon. Still in the Desert Canyon. There's a lot of Desert Canyon around here. Good thing is, Desert Canyons are mostly full of Aquamaxes. Well, not mostly, but uh, there are a lot of Desert Canyon maps where you find these guys. Also, Salt Hopper are not hostile anymore. Which is certainly interesting. Hey, you. Alright. Oh, the Salamander has gained a level because he killed the Equimax. Well, that's that, I guess. There's a lot of spider webs around. I wonder if there's a cave somewhere. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Like those wandering caravans seem to have better stuff the further north you get. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Let's kill the Aquamaxes, as we always do. Okay. Now, a lot of spider webs, but no spiders. Which is interesting. That poses an interesting philosophical question. What was there first, the spider or the spider web? It's a stupid question because um, it has a very easy and certain answer. There was a spider, but the spider is gone, the web remains. I'm talking rubbish, I'm sorry. Okay, all right. Yeah, well, that's still... Killing Aquamaxes is still worth a good bit of experience. I feel... Yeah. This is... I'm having a bit of déjà vu going on here. With a slight difference that we're just rejoindering these guys all to hell. So... Yeah, they don't... They're not really threatening anymore. But they still give you good experience, so... That's good, I guess. Also, I totally forgot to get ambidexterity. That was so stupid of me. Okay. When there wasn't really anything bad. There wasn't really anything bad that happened because of that, but uh, yeah, let's not... Not get careless, is what I'm saying. This can still mean certain death. Okay. And murder the Equimaxes. A lot of stuff is pretty busy around here. Almost kind of cute seeing all those snap jaws around. Oh, there are lots of Equimaxes. Yeah, we can get a good bit of experience from here. It's actually kind of um, worth worthwhile to just roam around these desert canyons, kill the Aquamaxes, and uh, still get some more experience. Because it's still, yeah, it's still, it's still good. It's still a good amount. And uh, which level are we? Sixteen? Fifteen? 
Um, there we go. 16. Okay, what do we have here? These are star apple farm farmers, I think. Oh, the apple farmer's daughter. She shies away from us. That is something that has happened with, to me before. That was way back when, when I was actually playing the the ASCII version of this. Was uh, that my character fell in love with a farmer's daughter. And um, then I did something stupid and every, everyone got hostile and I murdered everybody. And for the rest of the game, my character was then lovesick. Because he murdered his... Uh, his beloved and all her family, <laughs> which is a little bit grim, I guess, but also kind of funny. These these things are always kind of funny when they are the result of systemic interactions and not. Uh, but that's something that could happen. It didn't happen right now, but uh, yeah, your character can fall in love apparently. Which is cool. Hey. Young ivories still as annoying as they ever were. Okay, there's something here. Hmm, that's good. We're going to take a good look at this. Let's see, that seems to be a building that is in ruins. Okay. Maybe there's an entrance down or something. Another weird artifact. What's that? A semi automatic pistol. Hmm. Let's get that. Let's get that, let's get the slugs. Um, one d 6 Does the same damage as the chain pistol. Cylinderless pistol with acrylic grips, okay. And that one is... Handheld machine gun, narrow barrel and an extended magazine, okay. So these are also lead slugs, aren't they? Yes. Take a look at this. That is 1d10. Yeah, that is indeed better, the laser pistols. Still not too convinced about the damage that we do with them, but uh, yeah, maybe we would need to get more pistol stuff. We, oh, there's a slumberling. Let's see if we can take that one on now. I think we can. I think we probably can. Yes, slumberling dies. That was almost no problem. Yep. Okay, slumberlings, we can take these guys on. That is great. Okay, another weird artifact. What do we have here? I think I broke it. Oh shit. What was that? Whatever it is, it's broken. Fuck. Well, it weighs 16 pounds, so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, we totally fucked this up. <laughs> I guess. Okay, well was probably something good. Or maybe just another jackhammer or something. Okay, there's one more ruin down here, but there doesn't seem to be anything in here. Nope. Well, so much for that. Oh, there are more ruins. Good. Good. I like those. You find interesting stuff in them. Oh dear, what is that? It's a drill bot. Okay, let's murder the drill bot. And it's murdered. 150 XP, okay. We have the droid scrambler, but it apparently it only works near Gridgate, not everywhere else. Which is okay, but uh, well, there's an interestingly placed door. And there's a widget, which is trivial. Oh, oh no, there's another rocket turret thing. Which we just rejoined it. Well, good. <laughs> good, good. Let's see, what do we have in here? A silver nugget. Let's get that. I can't have it all. Just food. I'm just gonna get that for now. We can drop it again if we... Oh, there's another floating glow sphere. We're gonna pick that up because they are worth a lot. Metamorphic polygel. What does that do? It hungers for freedom. Let's get that. 
let's take a look at this. Plastifier gloves, one and one. Slender ways, and it, it gives you a bunch of resistance against all kinds of stuff. Let's kill that puma. And I think we have another set of hands. Yes, we can put them on there. Um. Oh yeah, we didn't really have gloves before, so that actually, that was good. Fantastic. Alright. Alright. Well, that was certainly interesting. An interesting little diversion, I guess. And this just, this just seemed to be jungle. Well, not jungle, but uh, the flower fields. That's where we are, right. Which seems to be pretty similar to the plains. Sometimes there's some stuff in there. Oh, there are more ruins. Okay, we're going to keep exploring this area. There's a little acid slug thing. Oh dear. The rifle turret, these things are not too dangerous. Okay, that was something. What, what are you? Uh, the worker ant, who is neutral. Um, I'm just gonna kill it. Oh dear. Okay, that acid or whatever it is, um, destroys everything. Destroys everything. Oh dear. If you can hear that. I don't know if you can, I don't know if my microphone picks it up. But that looks like a sudden thunderstorm outside. Maybe I'm gonna have to cut this video short. We're gonna see how, how close that thing is gonna get. Oh, there's another slumbling. And uh, yeah, that hurt a little. A lot of experience. Um, still have to be careful about slumberlings. If they hit, they hit hard. So that's definitely something to be mindful of. No chests or anything so far. What I would enjoy would be stairs down. If there was actually... Oh, plate mail and another weird artifact. It's a sniper rifle. Well, that is certainly also interesting. Now let's pick that up for now. We still have enough room to carry around stuff. Steel arrow and elastine skin suit. Whew. Which is pretty much... yeah, okay. That is pretty much the same as the slate mantle, but with one more... with one point of armor value. So uh, why not put that on? Uh, armor value doesn't really matter, but it uh, doesn't hurt. Also, how much does that weigh? Five, the slate mantle is three. Oh well, whatever. I'm going to put that on and we're good. Okay, let's walk around, see if we can find more Aquamaxes like this one. And we leveled up. Fantastic. Um, yep. Could get this. Could also put this into multiple arms. Let's keep pumping points into flaming hands for now. Okay, let's kill these guys. Alright. The flaming hands are actually pretty powerful by now. Because, uh... Where, do we, where are we? It's 96 damage. That is um, quite a few dice. So, plus the burning. Okay, let's not get too careless around here. Okay, now we need 87,000 experience. Yeah, that, and that ratchets up a lot. Oh, there are more ruins. That is fantastic, okay. Yeah, I guess what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to keep exploring the area. 
and see if we can yeah maybe we're gonna find some interesting stuff we did already find some interesting stuff maybe we find some interesting stuff that we can actually use and if not it's still fun to explore those ruins so yeah there's a leech Ugh. slightly disgusting giant man-sized leech that would not be to my liking to see in real life but then we are sort of a four-armed sword wielding badass so I don't think this character is bothered by stuff like that okay let's murder the slumberling yes okay still need to be really careful about about those guys if there would be more than one, we would we would be really we need to be careful because one hit takes us down to yellow. Oh, there's another carbide. Okay, and a scoped weird artifact is a scoped carbine. Okay, no, not gonna pick that up. But I am definitely gonna use the carbide dagger. And I think we can get rid of the short sword. Don't really need that for now. Haha, -ha. good stuff. Good, good stuff. For some reason, one of the one of the sort of us back there was hostile. Sometimes I don't know what governs that. I think there might actually be some kind of um, random number generator also be going on for that. Because uh, yeah. I wonder if it is a chance of being hostile rather than a binary state. <clears throat> like something being hostile or not hostile. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna keep exploring these flower fields areas. Keep killing Equimaxes. We still get a bunch of experience from them. I wonder when the next diminishing returns point settles in. We have so much food and stuff that we are kind of we can kind of afford dilly dallying around as much as we do right now. And um, yeah, I kind of want to if I take a look at how the last runs all went once we got to the jungle. I kind of want to stick around and become really, really powerful before we do anything up there, you know? I think that would actually make a lot of sense. So, um, yeah, that's what I intend to do. So let's keep exploring the flower fields. Oh, there's another caravan. So what do you have? You have a carbide dagger, okay. You have another laser pistol. These things are expensive. You have a grid gate recoiler, also interesting, with a cam cell or without a cam cell. Um, having a grid gate recoiler wouldn't actually be all that bad, because that would mean we could warp around between grid gate and um, chopper. You know what? I think I'm, this is actually something that I'm going to do, that I'm going to get. We can pay for that with a few beaded bracelets that we have. A lot of, anyways. So, yeah. How about we do that? Let's get rid of the cracked lens. Do you have anything else that might be interesting? And the weird artifact that weighs a lot? Plastifier jerkin. Oh no, it's minus three dodge value. Okay, forget that. Forget about that. We have the floating glow sphere, which I kind of want to keep for now. Um, oh, we can also get rid of the sniper rifle. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of that thing. And, yeah, gonna get rid of the sniper rifle. Let's see. I'm gonna give a few less beaded bracelets, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, this would just net us some water again, but uh, I think we're kind of all right. Okay. Okay, so far so good. So, 
now we have a gridgate recoiler, which can take us back to gridgate. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea to get that stuff. Alright, let's keep exploring these flower fields. Oops. I re rejoined at something on the way. Okay. Just some glow crows and so on fighting other flying enemies. Slowly making our way towards level 18. I think I'm now of a higher level than I've ever been, at least from recorded runs. So that's good. I think this is also the longest one so far. But I'm kind of getting the hang of survival in this game. It really kind of pays to, since food and stuff is not all that pressing a concern, and uh, we are getting much more water than we could ever drink, um, it actually makes sense to take this game on slowly, you know, to not go, to not be, to not be rash, to be, yeah, to take your time, basically. Okay, one of those slugs. Uh, Equimaxis. Still hope we find something interesting in those ruins. Nothing so far. There's another chest. Those chests are always kind of promising. What are you? It's a bloody electric snail. Hmm. Not anymore. Same is true for that Equimax. Okay, let's take a look at that chest. Compact bracelet, another weird artifact, which is a stasis grenade. Okay, and uh, yeah, good. We already have a compass bracelet, so don't really need that. Okay, I think that's that's it for those ruins. I don't know what that door is doing up here. It's just a door. <laughs> I mean, why not? Maybe that's a piece of art or something that someone that someone made over there. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay, there you are. Destroy the Equimaxes, as we always do. And, uh, yeah, taking time, getting strong, I think that might be the best tactic for now. Even though it doesn't make, like, for riveting television, but, uh, well, if you're watching this, you know what you're, you know what you're looking for, I guess, so, well, things are gonna get more interesting at some point again. So yeah, this is just sort of the pacing of this game, I guess. Oh no. Not gonna mess with the fungus patch. No sir. Don't want to get glow crust or whatever that disgusting thing was again. Whoops, and that was lightning. Yeah, it's getting closer. But uh, I wanted to make the videos a little shorter anyways. 40 minutes was a, was a bit much. Oh, there's another trader. There are a bunch of traders over here. Okay, what do you have? Grid gate recoilers? Okay, a camel bladder. Can't wait for folding hammer. Floating glow spheres? Yeah, vine wafers. Nothing too interesting. Yeah, I mean, we could get a bunch of lead slugs again, as they don't weigh anything. But not really anything that is interesting to us. Okay, well, that's good. That's alright. Oh! 
Oh, fuck. Okay, there's something going on there. A bunch of apes. <laughs> Whew, very tough, impossible. Yeah, let's not... Let's be really careful about messing with these guys. And they are hostile, aren't they? Yes, they are. Ogre ape, albino ape. And the ogre ape are very tough. This guy is impossible. Wool killed ape furhead. Yeah. Snakeskin armlet, beaded bracelet. Now he is fully equipped with stuff. The thing is, they are only melee. So that's something. So I wonder if we can actually, if we make good use of our flaming hands, if we can actually... If we can actually survive fighting those guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. There was something happening there. I don't know what that was, but... Uh, okay. There is... One of these apes is doing weird stuff. still here? Yes, you are. So, let's take a look. It's still fine. Okay, wounded. Let's do a little bit of sprinting away from them. Where are you? There you are. Ape, are you here? Yes, you are. Oops. Yep. Whoa. Let's run. Oh, I can't run right now. We still have salve injectors, so that's at least good. So how is this guy doing? It's injured. Let's do the flurry. Let's burn him again. It's wounded. Do the flurry. I was killed? What the fuck? What what happened? Oh, I think he got a he got a good hit in or something. Ah, I always I, I always bite off more than I can chew. Like messing with these guys. Fuck me. Well, that's that. So, um, that's good. That was another good run. And uh, now I kind of know what to do with this character. I have saved this type of character into the library. So let's see. There we are. This is Agility Forearms. Um, I think next time, what I'm going to do next time is um, experimenting with some other stuff. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.